Okay, today we're going to show you how to put the uh, valve covers on the proper way so you don't have any leaks. This is a small block Chevy 350 that I've been working on. And uh, we're going to put, first off, we've put studs. I like putting studs in the heads. You can buy those at a speed shop and nuts that go with it. And then you get your gasket here and line it up with the studs and put it down. Just like that, and it puts it all in the right spot. I'm going to put the other gasket on the other side. Just line it up with the studs. See how nice that is? And uh, nothing's going to move on you. So your gasket fits on there nice and square. And uh, you're ready to put the valve cover on. Cut. Okay, now it's time to put the valve covers on. We've got the studs on. We've got the valve cover gaskets on. And now we're going to put them on the motor. As you've noticed, uh, I didn't put any RTV on there. Um, I found that you don't really need to put it when you're running these studs. Uh, sometimes guys will run double gaskets, uh, but I think we're okay with the single ones. So I'm going to put this on and just run them down. You don't want to over torque them, just good and snug. Now we're ready to uh, torque down the valve covers. We're just going to put a ratchet on here and just run it down just kind of snug. Go down. Snug. Get the other side. Okay. All right, if you have any questions with this video, uh, you can go to the bottom of the screen on this video and it'll take you to our Facebook uh, webpage.